Danny, what was the thing you were saying earlier about um, Jewish supremacy? I believe that Jewish supremacy is the greatest threat to the world today. I look at what they're doing in the media. They're pushing this transgender nonsense. I, I think it's all nonsense, and I think it's leading to a degradation of moral fiber. And I don't think it's just his chlamydia brain talking. I think that he is a fierce advocate for women's rights. He has been the poster boy for moral fiber for so many years. And who would be a better advocate for women than someone who's been inside so many of them? It doesn't seem to me like you've really studied, or perhaps don't even want to study, the facts about all this, because it would go against your own narrative. Would that be fair? Dan has done so much research on this topic. He has literally read dozens of tweets from everyone from Jackson Hinkle to Candace Owens. And that is so inspiring to see from someone who is legally illiterate. But he does it because he hates Jews so much. You are just, you are just a brazen anti-Semite, aren't you? You hate Jewish people, you hate Israel, you hate the state of Israel, its government. Everything. Wow, I, I don't think I've ever felt more uh, seen or understood. The reason Jewish people may dislike you is because of your obvious, obvious hatred for them and everything they stand for. Y yeah, I mean, it could be that or it could be uh, because of my very well-documented, very aggressive sexual relationship with Yaya Simwar last summer. It's hard to know. You sound like a Nazi. Uh, Pierce, if that was supposed to be foreplay, consider me at half chub right now.